right, Dan Demand. Come on. Yes, Paul Copeland, Creflo are liars. Yes. And demonic. But Trump won and had the election stolen. He should not have had that witch in the White House. They just won't give up. Don't, don't give up. They just won't give up. Don't they give writing up. me, blaming me. That's right. All right, go ahead, Dan. She called out Africans, d African demons. Gino is a hater of Trump. He does not know Jesus, who is at the right hand. I don't know him. Oh. Well, if I don't know him, why are you watching me? Yeah. That's right. Paula White was sent by hell. I have heard what the prophet said. She's an outstanding liar. That's right. The angels didn't come from Africa. No. She was calling for them. Yes. Then went off into some tongue. Yaka saka maka saka chitlins, pog malls, pancakes, macaroni, cheese, collard greens, making a menu. That's right. I have declared before and I declare again. That's right. Every so-called evangelical liar that was used by the powers of hell. Yeah. If God yeah. said that Donald Trump would be in the White House and win, and win. this election, That's right. Biden should have never been inaugurated. That's right. Because God don't lie. That's right. right. Yeah. So yeah. shall my word be. Listen at what God said. Isaiah 55 and verse 11. Are you upset with me? Don't get upset with me. Right. Get upset with Paula White. That's right. Get upset with Kenneth Copeland. Yeah. Get upset with the 700 Club. Get upset with all these evangelical bigots that wanted Trump to be in office so bad. You was willing to lie on the almighty, but instead God made all of you liars. That's right. Amen. 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 So don't get upset with me. That's right. All of you evangelicals yeah. that's following any man or any woman yeah. who was caught up in this demonic frenzy. Amen. Of pathetic prophecy. Yeah. Not prophetic. Yeah. Pathetic. Pathetic. That's and you see it didn't come to pass? That's right. It is God yeah. that allowed this to happen. That's right. To show you that he did not send That's right. these prophets. 23rd chapter of the book of Jeremiah. Quickly Je now. Jeremiah chapter 23 and at verse 21. Listen to what God said. I have not sent these prophets. But what did they do? Yet they ran. What did God say? I have not sent these prophets. What did they do? Yet they ran. What else did they do? I, have, I have not spoken to I, them. I, I didn't speak to them. Yet they prophesied. That's why you don't find Trump in the White House. That's right. God didn't use them. That's right. God didn't speak to these liars. That's right. And you writing Pastor Jennings, all of you that's following these churches where these men or women said that lie, pack up. And leave. Yeah. God willed for this to be done right. to manifest yeah. that you was following a false prophet or a false prophetess. Who is he that saith and it cometh to pass? Yeah, chapter and verse. Lamentations chapter 3 and verse 37. Who is he that, that saith? saith and it cometh to pass? And it happened. When the Lord commandeth it not. God didn't command it. That's right. And you got false prophets all over social media to my son. God commanded. Yeah. God kept. In fact, that's one of the things Paula White was saying. Yeah. God commanded. Yeah. God commanded. And then she said, I commanded. <laughs> Lord. I commanded. My Lord. Paula, go get a job and go to work. That's right. Yeah. And all the rest of you heathens. That's right. All right, come on, Dan the man stays here. Cut us out. Another writer says, to infidels, the reason why Trump lost is because they cheated. Many witnesses, judges, etc., were paid off by Biden. Open up those evil eyes, this person says. I have no sympathy for blacks who wanted Biden. He will have them in the street and no money to spend. And I wish God would destroy America and the wicked. Really? So I, who's the wicked then? Who's the wicked? If you hate blacks that bad, why you keep looking at my black face? That's right. Now let me say this. 
read, 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 read what he said again. Cause I, I don't want to miss nothing. Read what he said again, Dad. He, he said, two infidels. The reason why Trump lost is because they cheated. All right, hold it. Now, I believe prophecy from heaven yes. can beat out cheating. Amen. That's right. Amen. If they really did cheat, if they did. If they did. But if God said, yeah. I demand for Trump to be in that White House. That's right. The whole world can cheat. Yes. But if God said it, that's right. You will see Trump right there. That's right. You mean to tell me the God of Israel can't outbeat cheating? So right. shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. This is what God said. In Isaiah 55 and Isaiah If 11. God said it, right. no one can steal it. Amen. That's right. Amen. That's it. How can human beings beat God? Yes. Amen. If God said it, right. nobody can beat it. That's no. right. If God said it, Amen. nobody can steal it. Amen. If God said it, nobody can suppress it. Amen. If God said it, nobody can squander it. That's Amen. right. It's Amen. just like God said, Terry, yeah. and she, ye shall be due with power from on high. Yeah. God promised that we will receive the Holy Ghost. That's right. Amen. I don't care if you don't believe it, yeah. but if God said it, yeah. right. you can put a paper bag over my head. Uh, but if God filled That's me right. with the Holy Ghost, right. I'm going to speak under that bag. Amen. That's right. Amen. Amen. Look how dumb you sound. Amen. You mean to tell me cheaters and the voting booth got more power than God? Oh, no. My Lord. Oh, no. He opened the Red Sea for Israel. Amen. But he can't put Trump in the White House. Amen. He Amen. shut heaven up Amen. for three years and a half. Amen. So it don't rain. Amen. And he can't put Trump in the White House? So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. God says. In Isaiah 55 and verse 11. So shall my word be. That goeth forth out of my mouth. That come out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void. Well, wait a minute. It won't return, return unto, unto me, me void. void. Tell the world what God world would do. God world would do, Williams. But it shall accomplish. No, no, they cheated. But it shall accomplish. No, 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 no. They cheated. But it shall accomplish. God said his word shall accomplish. accomplish. That which I please. That means it's guaranteed to get results. Amen. And it shall it's prosper. It's guaranteed and it shall prosper. In the thing where to I sent it. If he sent his word through these evangelical frauds. That's right. Then Trump would have been in the White House. That's right. Just face it. That's right. The prophecy failed. It never came from God. Yeah. It was the moving of the devil in the earth. Behold, I am against them that prophesy. Listen at this in now. In the book of Jeremiah chapter 23 and verse 32. Getting mad at me all you want, you Trumpites. That's right. You going to come back to the Bible? That's right. Huh? That's right. What is that? Jeremiah chapter 23, we'll start at verse 31. Yes. Behold, I am against the prophets, saith the Lord. I am against the prophets, saith the Lord. That use their tongues. That use their tongues. And say, he saith. And say, God saith. Behold, I am against them that prophesy I'm false dreams. against them that prophesy false dreams. Saith the Lord. Saith the Lord. And do tell them. And got the nerve to tell them. And cause my people to err by their lives. What? And cause my people to err by their lives. That's why you're writing me. That's right. Because you, you're Arab by what? By their lies. Amen. 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 You're Arab by your lies. By their lies. And here he, Trump, is all, Trump is home in Florida. <laughs> That's right. And you still hollering. That's right. All right, come on, Dan, the man. This is good. If pastor does not believe in voting, why doesn't he keep Trump off his dirty lips? <laughs> he did a lot for our dumb Negroes. Getting out of prison and giving the lazy suckers, this person says, jobs. He needs to learn Bible before he can speak on Jesus. Well, I tell you what you do. Why don't you come face this dirty lip preacher? Being that you want me to keep Trump out of my dirty lips, why don't you come take him out for me? Amen. That's right. That's right. I take this Bible and beat you down to your knees. Amen. That's right. So don't stand behind a screen and talk. Just face it. Right. You liars. I don't care if you're black and white. 
And being that, he, uh, he called them our Negroes. Our Negroes. <laughs> what are you, still a slave driver? Lord. Or are you a black Uncle Tom out here kissing mm. up the Trump? Go ahead. Nice. Nice. This is one preacher that the government don't rule. That's right. I'm not buck dancing like many of you folk who were Trump's buck dancers. That's right. right. And because he pardoned or was able to free some black folk, yeah. so what? That's right. You think he was the only president <laughs> where black folk got out of prison? Yeah. Black folk been getting out of prison every day. That's right. He ain't do nothing new. That's right. But notice, there was no agenda for people of color. Amen. But when he started running for the second term, yeah. he introduced a fake agenda yeah. called the platinum agenda. That's right. That's right. That's right. And you fell for it. Yeah. That's right. That's right. You fell for it. Oh, yes. Before he got in office, chaos yeah. followed him all over the country. All over. After he got in office, chaos. Yeah. While he was in office, chaos. That's right. Last days of office, chaos. That's right. And now many of you so-called Christians stormed the Capitol, broke into government property, yeah. and started stealing. Yeah. And Jesus said, thou shall not steal. Shall not steal. That's right. Amen. Christians. But yet you Christians. Yeah. Some of y'all infidels broke in and start holding hands praying. Mm, Imagine that. that. You break in my house <laughs> and I come downstairs and catch you mm. and you holding hands praying. Yeah. I'm going to break up that prayer meeting. That's right. <laughs> uh, amen. Amen. Now, if you was doing God will, God will does not cause no one to sin. No. God will does not cause no one to do wrong. That's right. Wonderful. And here you are now being hunted by the FBI. Yeah. Not you're not going to jail or charges pressed against you because you done right. Uh -huh. You were tricked. And many of you what helped push this motivation was false church. That's right. That's right. That's right. Not only you suckers believe Trump lie. The same spirit that was in Trump was in your pastor. That's right. Amen. I have heard what it's the prophet in your preachers. Yeah. Amen. He lied and said he won. Yeah. You lied and you said God said he won. That's right. And you mean to tell me God is not stronger than the Democratic Party? Amen. God? God. Wait a minute. God. God? God. Talk about this. Moses can throw down a, serp, a, a rod, turn to a serpent, eat up all other rods. Mm -hmm. Jesus can turn water into wine. Mm -hmm. But now you got an election that's so difficult. Yeah. <laughs> God can't get Trump in the White House. Right. Use a pathetic bigot fool to believe it. That's right. Come jump on Pastor Jennings. That's right. I take you for a 1932 Bible ride. Amen. 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 All right, come on, Dan. Another letter says, my name is Scott, mm -hmm. Mr. Jennings. I would like to discuss with you some very troubling events. All right. I have come across an article that would have great impact on preaching the word of Jesus Christ. Yes. The Biden and Harris administration, this person says, are making plans to infect our children with the idea that it's okay to accept gay men and women so-called rights. Yes. And, there's go, and, there's going to, and they're going to use the recent events of the court ruling to make it mandatory that all children must learn about that. You must call a woman a man and a man a woman. As we, as, and we as people who preach, God, who preach God, Jesus' word, they are going to try to quail our tongue about preaching it's wrong to be gay. Here is the link to the article, and the person gives a link. If Biden or Harris continue Obama's filthy, Man. dirty, yeah. Man. rotten, yeah. no good, hellish, yeah. same-sex agenda, right. we are blasted to hell. Cry aloud. And I want to encourage all teachers Amen. and all in 
employees and employers. When a man come in your job, in your company, in your place of business, when a child come in your school, and you know that's a boy. Mm. Don't bow to the government and call it a girl. That's right. Man. When a girl come in, Man. don't bow to the government and call it a boy. Now, to you that work for the government, Amen. whether it's signing marital certificates or anything that got to do with you writing documentation, We that are of God, we can't endorse no. or seal or no. sign no. a same-sex marriage license no, that's right. or a no. same-sex marriage certificate. That's right. no. Amen. You come in first church, and if I know your name is Tommy, <laughs> and you want me to call you Tamika, that's right. Amen. I'm dropping off the Hika. <laughs> I'm just going to call you Tommy. That's right. God says in Genesis, yeah, yeah. let us. Let us make man. Yeah. Let us. Let us make man. 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 Make man. Let us make man in our image. And then he put man in deep sleep, took the rib from man and formed woman. Woman. He didn't form anything in between. No. no substitute. No. So if Biden and Harris go that direction, we're ready. That's right. Amen. The church ain't got to get ready for that fight. We've been fighting that fight. That's right. <laughs> Amen. There's some of you Trumpites wrote me. Obviously, they wasn't watching us long. No. What's she going to do when Biden try to bring uh, Obama's homosexual agenda? All you got to do is go listen at the many messages of the truth of God. I will stand on that as clear. Yeah. You see, the truth of God don't care. Wonderful. Your uh, political affiliation. Yeah. Our affiliation is with God. That's Amen. right. That's our affiliation. That's right. With God. That's right. Our party is holiness. That's right. We're not Democrat. No. We're not Republican. No. Our party is holiness. That's it's right. the holy party. That's right. It's a holy sanctified. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Holy sanctified people. The holy Glory people. Take God that believe firmly in what is written here. So if by him though Harris, if you are a teacher watching me, don't you bow when you know you got a young boy there come dressed like a girl and you go and put him sit with the girls or allow him to go to the ladies room. That's right. I That's show you how dumb their government is. Yeah. Yeah. So many of you say, well, Trump, you know, he had those morals. Yeah. All right. If he didn't believe in same sex, fine. Right. But he believed in exchanging wives. Yeah. You're guilty in one point. You're guilty, guilty in all. That's right. Amen. Amen. He endorsed adultery. And some of you say he's the greatest president in the world. You are <laughs> deceived by all the powers of hell. That's right. That's wishful thinking. Yeah. So nobody that's following God should endorse same-sex marriages in any form. We don't, I, I don't if, if there's anybody come in first church, yeah. and you're a man, mm. come dressed like a woman. Mm. If we see you trying to creep in the ladies' room, mm. We, and I'm making this plain over the air. And if you want to be dumb enough to try us, do so. But if any man come in any of the first church of the Lord Jesus Christ buildings, well, that sign says women's, ladies' room. It don't say nothing else, but just clearly say ladies' room. Only one image on there. That's, That's right. the image of a lady. That's right. And we see you taking your wig head. Ashy knees. Amen. Size 15 foot. Amen. To try to go in the ladies' room. Amen. That's right. We will physically Amen. grab you and usher you out of here. That's right. Amen. 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 Well, Pastor Jennings, we'll sue you. I'll be glad. 
to face any courthouse in this country. If God said it's an abomination, we gonna say the same thing. That's right. right. Wonderful. Wonderful, sir. Wonderful. You think we are intimidated by lawyers? <laughs> we have the best lawyer. Amen. We got an advocate. That's right. With the Father. Amen. Glory to God. All right, Dan, come on. This person says, my question is, I want to know the reason why Pastor Jennings mentioned in his preaching that Bishop Daddy Grace is going to hell of the United <laughs> House of Prayer for well, all people. I'd be glad people. to tell you that. Go ahead, Dan. Amen. <laughs> This person says, I left the church going on two years now for many reasons. My husband was born in the United House of Prayer for All People. Yes. He said to me one day, he's not going <clears throat> to let religion get between our, our marriage. Uh -huh. I love the Lord in Jesus' name, she says. I have my own special relationship with the Lord, with the Lord thy God. I am born again. I am a born-again Christian. Now my husband is starting to pressure me sometimes to going back to his church. If it is true that Pastor Jennings said about Daddy Grace going to hell, he is the founder of my husband's church. Yes, Daddy Grace is an outstanding false prophet. I'm going to tell you why. Go ahead. I don't want to go to hell, this person says. Good. My husband is dragging some of our children back to his church yes. as well. She's looking for your advice. All right, I give you my advice. Give me the book of Corinthians. Come out from among them and be separate real quickly now. In the book of Second uh, Corinthians. Daddy Grace, better known as Bishop C.M. Grace. He wore long hair like a woman. That's Let me right. chapter 1 Corinthians quick now. I want you to pay attention to what I'm saying. 1 Corinthians chapter 11. Chapter 11, Daddy Grace wore long hair like a woman. At and the Bible says. 1 Corinthians 11 and verse 14. What is it? It was not even nature itself. It was not nature itself teaching. That if a man. If a man. Have long hair. Have long hair. It is a shame unto him. It's a shame unto him. That's right. Now, he wasn't ashamed. He wore long fingernails. Yeah. Longer than most women. Yeah. He didn't believe in burying you in water like the sixth chapter of the book of Romans. Right. He took a fire hose. It ain't no fire hose baptism in the Bible. That's right. The Bible says in the sixth chapter of Romans, we are buried with them by baptism. baptism. Buried. Right. That means your whole body go in the water. That's right. Not only that, they took all the, uh, in the songs that they sang that had the name Jesus. You know, if we sang, mine, 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 Jesus is mine, mine when I'm weary. Well, they would take all the songs that had the name Jesus out mm. and replace it by Sweet Daddy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sweet Daddy, Daddy is mine. Sweet Daddy, Daddy is mine. Mine when I'm weary. That's the devil out of hell. That's right. They made a God out of Sweet Daddy. Yeah. They would put so-called Sweet Daddy Grace on the throne where he was living. Yeah. Mm. And all the other bishops now that come after the fallen false prophet. Yeah. They call them sweet daddy. Isaiah chapter 42 and at verse 8. Real quick. I am the Lord, that is my name. I am the Lord and that is my name. And my glory. My glory. Will I not give to another. You see, you give these false prophets the glory that only God desire and only God is worthy of. That's right. I don't, I don't have a customized throne. No. I wish some brothers would put me in a chair and then horse me up over their head and walk down the aisle like, a, like I'm Pharaoh. That's right. That's right. And that's what they do in the house of prayer for all infidels. Amen. You take your blind bishop, put him on a customized throne, yeah. hoist him up in the air like he's some pharaoh. Amen. The only one that deserves to be lifted up is the name of Jesus Christ. That's Amen. right. Amen. The house of prayer is a false church. Yeah. It was passed up by the devil and the Tended by hypocrites and set up by Satan himself. In 2 Corinthians chapter 6 and at verse 14. This is what I advise you to do. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. What is it? For what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? And, and what communion hath light with darkness? Yes. And what concord hath Christ with Belial? Yes. What part hath he that believeth with an infidel? Yes. And what agreement hath the temple of God with idols? Uh -huh. For ye are the temple of the living God. Yes. And God hath said, I will dwell in them and walk in them. Yes. And I will be their God and they shall be my people. What did he advise? Wherefore come out from from among them go there come out from among them go there wherefore come out from among to them to what degree and be ye separate who said it saith the lord all right that settles that that's my advice to you that's obey right. what the lord said that's all right come on dan this person says uh, dear pastor and apostle gino jennings please forgive me for talking against some of your teachings and this, and speaking and questioning your validity 
of being sent by God. I am totally sorry for sure in the depths of my soul that does continue to live. I didn't want to let go of my understanding because it was attached to something that I wanted to know that I could look forward to in the future, even though my first wife is still alive. All right. To not make this letter of sincere apology long, I must let you know that I have had a real brush with death, and it has been only the mercy of the Lord that has kept me alive and functioning. Wonderful. A bad tooth pulling led to... High hypertension, this person says, all kind of attacks against my body, along with something blocking my satisfaction in prayer, though God did continue to answer my prayers. Then I thought, since I'm going through this well, then God must have uh, sent you, and what you're saying must be truly right, so please forgive me, Pastor Jennings, this person says. I will never talk against you ever again. I will remain lowly and ready for the Lord Jesus to mold, make, and send me if that's what he wants to do. I have enjoyed your teachings and know that your ministry is definitely the best message going. I believe that you understand and forgive me. Thank you very much. And this comes from a viewer or a listener. All right, wonderful letter. That's all? One more? All right, you're forgiven. Whatever you're talking about, you're forgiven. But uh, all right, thank God for you. Next letter, last letter, come on. Hello, I highly respect Pastor Gino Jennings. I know some that are trying to start their own church. That's what they do. I want to make sure that their bylaws are up to standards. Mm -hmm. They did get a chance to go over your bylaws and would like to know if they are allowed to be used in some of their bylaws of their churches as well. Are they allowed to use some of the rules because they agree with them and what the Lord wants for his people? They didn't want to use the rules in their bylaws without the permission of your church, this person says. We know that some churches may allow other startup churches to use their bylaws if needed with their consent. But they wanted to know if something from your church does, if what your church does as well. Can you in advance, can you in advance for taking, the person says, beg your pardon, thank you in advance for taking the time to help. All right, uh, first and foremost, that's all? Yeah. All right, thank you. I want to meet with the preacher. We don't want no one to just hijack uh, the bylaws that govern the first church of the Lord Jesus Christ and then start a church. And then you want to try to nitpick, take out what you want, use what you want. No, we believe all the word of God is right. That's right. And when we set up laws, our laws don't contradict God's word. That's, right. That's why we set up laws that way to answer questions that people may have. And uh, then uh, it, it, it eliminate a lot of uh, time of repeated questions being asked. But no, we just don't give other organizations our book of bylaws and, uh, and then they just take them and just run with them. And then make it appear like they're part of the first church of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, so I would like to meet the preacher, talk to the preacher, and uh, check him out with Bible. That's right. All right, before we go any further, let me update you. Uh, thanks, Dan, for those letters. Very good letters. Uh, let me update you with those that was baptized so far. One in Minnesota, four in Fresno, California. And uh, I believe one came out speaking in tongue there in Fresno, California. Two in Portland, Oregon, two in Bronx, New York, 20 in Johannesburg, South Africa, 10 in Santa Rosa, California, and three in Canada. That's a blessing. All right. Now, one thing about the word of God, it's the word of God. And many of you take it personally out on me and don't like the way I sound. I don't think God sent nobody for the people to like the way they sound. No. In fact, I know he didn't. No. God sent men to preach the word. That's right. That's all, preach the word. If, some, if your house is burning, you don't have to like the way the firemen sound. That's right. But if what that fireman is telling you is going to keep you from being burnt up, wouldn't it be wise for you to obey him? Amen. Or are you going to sit there and say, you better ask me to leave nicer than that. <laughs> That's right. I'm not leaving. All right, then stay there and be burnt up like a fool. That's right. My job as the messenger, you better give me the book of Isaiah. Mm -hmm. I want to show you how loud that I am how commanded loud. by God to cry. That's right. I'm not sent to be your televised buddy. No. I'm not sent to be your social media friend. That's right. I'm not sent to be your radio partner. Amen. I'm sent to preach to you God's word before you die and lift up your eyes in hell. Isaiah chapter 58, we'll start in verse 1. All right. Cry aloud. Cry softly. Cry aloud. 
Cry timidly. Cry aloud. Cry passively. Cry aloud. Be scared to cry out. Cry aloud. Worry about what they think of you. Cry aloud. No, look at the feelings. Cry aloud. Amen. Do you hear the Bible talking, viewer? Cry aloud. Amen. Amen. As someone logged on and said, I can see the arrogance in that man's eyes. <laughs> Do you really? Amen. <laughs> Amen. Are you getting the old man? That's right. The Holy Ghost said. Cry aloud. I'm not over the air to be liked or loved. No. As long as God accept, thank God, my work, that's what gives me satisfaction. That's right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's right. Yeah? That's what I'm working for. That's right. Glory to God that God Almighty accept, amen, this work that he have put in my hands. That's right. God put this work in my hands and made me responsible. Yeah. And I'm responsible for the time wherein I live. Cry aloud. And he told me to cry aloud. Spare Hallelujah. not. Do what? Spare not. Do what? Spare not. Don't spare nobody. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Wait a minute. Lift up your voice like a flute. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Nah. Amen. Lift up your voice like a flute. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Lift up your voice like a harmonica. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Nah. Whistle it. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Lift up your voice with a whisper. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yeah. Lift up thy voice like Lift a trumpet. Lift up thy voice. Like a trumpet. That's why you don't like me, viewers, because it's too loud for you. <laughs> That's right. You want to sleep in your sin and sleep in your wicked belief and hear the message of holiness come mm. right in your ear of the Disturbing your slumber. Cry aloud. Cry aloud. Fear not. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He said what? Cry aloud. Cry aloud. Spare not. Don't spare. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. What do I care? I don't care if you're so white, you're blending with the snow. That's right. If you're so black, they think you're living asphalt. <laughs> That's right. Walking the street. Amen. If you're so yellow, somebody mistake you for one of them yellow school buses. Cry aloud. I'm going to bring you God. And the thing about it, the reason why I can preach this, mm -hmm. by God's permission, I was made a preacher. That's right. Amen. You say you can't get this type of boldness from seminary school. No. You can't get this. Hallelujah. Go to take on. That's it, big God. You can't. Get this type of boldness from studying theology right. and all of that religious trash that sprung out of hell. That's right. It takes God to make a preacher. That's right. Amen. Blessed be the name of God. And when God make a preacher, God said, I've put my words in thy in mouth. In thy mouth. In thy mouth. I've put thine my words mm -hmm. in thy mouth. Be that's not afraid that, of that's the faces. That's what's wrong with me, viewers. That's right. Viewers, that's what's wrong with Pastor Jenny. Some of you say, well, something wrong with you. One man wrote me, he said, something's wrong with you. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Amen. But something is wrong with you. That's right. That's right. That's right. Something's wrong. <laughs> that's right. I thank God, but the thing that's wrong with me is what's right with me. Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I was made a preacher. That's right. Glory to God, I was put in the womb a preacher. Mm. Eh? That's right. Amen. I said I was. Hallelujah. Who would take God? Amen. I was put in. Yes. My mother's womb. He put me in there. That's right. A preacher. You know, you know, you Hallelujah. know, you don't put pound cake in the oven yeah. and it come out a peach cobbler. That's right. Oh, no. No, no. You better give me the first chapter of the book of Jeremiah. And, and at verse 4. Begin at verse 4. Then the word of the Lord came unto me. Then the word. The word of the Lord came Hallelujah. unto me. Hallelujah. 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 Then the word. The word of the Lord came Glory unto me. God of the Lord came to me. Saying, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Amen. Hey. Before I formed thee in the before. belly, I knew thee. Hallelujah. Glory take God, I formed thee. In the belly, I Hallelujah. knew thee. In the belly. He said, I knew you. And before thou camest forth before out of the you womb, came out, I sanctified thee. I already had you set aside. And I ordained thee a prophet. I ordained thee. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A messenger. Unto the nation. Unto the nation. Hallelujah. He said, I oh, Lord you God. You got to be put in. That's right. Yeah. That's right. You know when you're predestinated Hallelujah. to be a preacher. Hallelujah. He puts you in the womb. That's right. Put you in there, preacher. That's right. 
form you while you're there. Amen. He don't send you while you're there. That's right. He form you while you're there. Before I formed thee in the belly, before I knew I thee. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. I knew what I had in mind. And before thou camest forth out of the womb. Glory to God. Before your mother push you out of there. I sanctified thee. I already had you set apart. And I ordained thee a prophet I, unto listen, the nations. Pastor Jennings was already set aside. That's right. To do what God got me doing. That's right. He already ordained me. I ordained me. Meaning he prophet. already appointed me. That's right. I just had to wait for my appointed time. Amen. For my change to come. That's right. Hallelujah. Yeah. I ordained thee a prophet Hallelujah. unto God. the nations. When it came, he Hallelujah. decided to send me and make me a preacher. That's right. And send me to the world. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. That's right. Preach the gospel. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To every creature. That's right. Glory to God that is under heaven. Hallelujah. And I'm going to preach it. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You can, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I ordained the prophet to the nation. You can get that mad at me if you want. Yes. Uh, here's a man who don't fear death. That's right. I don't fear prison. That's right. I don't fear the White House. Hallelujah. I don't fear Democrat. Go ahead. I don't fear Republican. That's right. Yeah. That's right. God said, Hallelujah. 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 